I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. I've heard that the Greek word for baptize means to, quote, immerse. Does this mean that sprinkling or pouring baptisms are invalid? Now, that last word of the question is the key word, invalid. So let's talk about baptism kind of big picture, and then let's get to the mode or the means by which of immersion, sprinkling, etc. So the term baptism, as you mentioned in your question, simply means to immerse. That's what the word means. However, in the New Testament model, one's baptism is not an essential means of their relationship with God. I would claim it's important to their fellowship with God. Now, there's a big difference there. Relationship is in relation to. Fellowship is kind of the conduct between. So in other words, I would claim that somebody does not have to be baptized to, quote, have a relationship with Jesus Christ, but their baptism, I think, is important biblically for their fellowship, their trust, their obedience with the Lord. Now, having done that explanation, invalid, I don't know if the word invalid is the proper word. How about this word, improper? In other words, our desire in life, not just on this YouTube channel, but in all aspects of our life, should be to do it the way the Bible has described it and or prescribed it. In other words, our life should mimic a biblical model. In the biblical text, every baptism we observe is by immersion, going completely under the water. The word means that. There's no biblical model or role for any sprinkling or effusion, which means pouring. Those are modern adaptations that are extra biblical or outside of the biblical record. And, and I've heard people use all types of quote unquote traditional excuses, sanitation, whatever it may be, but none of those are really relevant to you and I. So today, our faith in Jesus Christ is what saves us from our sin. Our baptism is what allows us to walk in fellowship with him as a part of that. And my goal, as your goal hopefully will be, is to be as biblical as possible, which means that to follow in believers' baptism is to be immersed, the word, the scriptures, not modern adaptations. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.